Saturday morning. A little bit foggy. Let's see what, go, what I can go get into today. Kind of nasty around here. Been snowing or raining or something the last couple of weeks. Look at there. Flat tire. I don't understand it. That tire never went flat. The one on the right always did. Now the one on the right don't go flat, but the one on the left does. You just can't have nice things. I mean, you'd think a Surveyor Super 70 would be high quality tire. Wouldn't you? Anyways, it's Saturday. It's wet. It's soggy. I got a messy workbench. Surprise, surprise. And it's like uh, 48 degrees in here. But today I need to I need to do some stuff cleanup wise in here. I know it doesn't look that bad. Why well, waste my time, right? But I think I need to do some stuff cleanup wise in here. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna pull. That black one in here that I've been mad at and ain't worked on in a while and put transmission in it. That shouldn't take me too long. And then if I still feel into it, I'm going to pull the front of the motor off and fix the oil leak and see if the cam ain't in there wrong or something. That's what it acts like to me. And if I get too chilly, I got a heater. Let me get busy cleaning up here. <clears throat> I think I need to make a piece of metal art first. I had a little idea here. Maybe I'll do that right quick. Speaking of that, everything I made the last couple of little videos is sold. So thank y'all. I'm a little shocked. Anybody wants my junk, but uh, maybe I'll do some more. And it is chilly, folks. And only one of you have bought one of them hoodies. So, as of this moment, there's two people in the whole wide world that has a Who the Heck is Mr. Heavy Chevy hoodie. My neighbor and the guy who bought that one. That's it. Think of the how exclusive you'll be. That's more exclusive than Versace. What are you doing out here? Getting some tough stuff. Because that youngin spilled some crap in the car, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's right. your daughter. It's <laughs> your daughter. <laughs> Alright, and I need some coffee. Will you get me some coffee? Sure. What we'll... happened here? I don't know. That's just cat. Uh, <clears throat> a manufacturing flaw. No, that's not. That's where the glass is chipped, and it wasn't that way when I bought them. I don't know. Maybe somebody shot it with a BB gun. <sighs> that's a third away now. Anyway. Alright, stop distracting me. I'm trying to clean off my workbench. Okay. Don't don't use any of these or take any of these pieces. I got something going on here. Don't, don't look like much. Don't but. knock it over your own self. <laughs> Just saying. Don't take any of that. Here's what I need you to do though. Find yourself a magnet somewhere. There's one right there. Yeah. And just check and make sure all them parts a magnet will stick to them. Because you don't think these aluminum things will. Those ain't aluminum. Well, but what What are you trying but that to... that might be. This might be? Seriously? I'm being for real right now. <laughs> Let's try it. Alright, All right, let me get back to work. They oh. stick to it. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? Okay, I stand corrected. There, I just made a snail. And I just picked it up out of the water puddle I threw it in, of which there are plenty of water puddles around here to cool it off. What you think about my snail, bud? Sure is grinning a lot. All right. 
hey, if you're going to be a YouTube star, you got to be mindful of where the cameraman's at. Okay. All right, what do you think? Well, I think you should add more to this, like maybe another chain like this, because the neck is, is a little too long for such a small shell. Like, I want to make it bigger. Oh, yeah? Is that what you call constructive criticism? Yeah. Okay. Maybe the boy's right now that I think on it. All right, that's all the metal art you're getting out of me today. I got other stuff to do. <clears throat> but I think I might put that on the website, too. That one will be cheap, because it ain't. I ain't too proud of it. But I did shorten the neck up and reconfigure it based on the young man's advice. All right, before I wrap this thing up in the tarp and put it away, I'm going to see if it'll run. Looks like it will. No cold blood is no joke. Well, it quit, but I guess that's to be expected. I still got some tuning to do, but I'm not going to do it now. I finally found the keys to that black truck, and I'm going to wheel it in here and put transmission in it. All right, I got that thing pushed in there. A little man had helped me a little bit. The truck must have got heavier or something. Or I got weaker. Probably or I didn't get weaker. Or I got fatter with sat in it. Well, what happened is it, the ground's soft. It's hard to roll. Once we got her on the asphalt, we're done, all right. Now, I'm gonna catch my breath, and then I need to back that GMC up here and take a wheel off. I'm gonna need to go see if we can find a tire or two. Why two? Well, chances are, we aren't gonna find a nearly bald tire that matches. So, I'll we'll probably have to buy two tires. Maybe two new ones. Well, I don't really want to do that. But let's go see what we can come up with. And while we're doing that, this truck can drip off. I know those of you who live in the northern states know all about dripping vehicles. It's highly annoying. All right, some of you aren't going to approve of this, but I don't care. Put some 3110 on the back. That'll help in the race. All right, now that we got done with our extra in the middle stuff, it's time to get this truck jacked up so I can put the transmission in it. So that's what we're gonna work on now. As you can see, we've got some water accumulated on the floor. All right, some of you may make fun of me for this too, but I'm gonna turn on Mr. Heater over there because it's damp and wet. Everything's damp and wet. I'm damp and wet. I'll feel better with the heat on, I bet. Did you catch that little rhyme? Yeah. It should have been a rapper. You know, so far this seems like a really good idea. The transmission jack, that is. All right, yeah, I was right. That jack is the way to go. In fact, you have to be a moron not to have one. Now, don't take offense because I was a moron for an awful long time. But that made life easy. Transmission went up in here just slick as a whistle. I didn't drop it on my head or nothing. Okay, that was a good investment. All right, I'm going to show you all something up in here. See if you can tell what's wrong with that picture. That's why the bolt won't go in too good. Oh, focus, focus. 
Some bonehead let his spark plug wire go between the bell housing and the block. And now I gotta loosen up all the other bolts and pull it out. Probably the wire ain't no good, but we'll see. Alright, I got the transmission in it, everything except I gotta run off a vacuum tube from the vacuum modulator up to the top of the transmission at the back of the motor. Let's see that again. So that the transmission will know when to shift right. It's got a big shift kit in it and a stall converter. My cousin says it's gonna bang hard. Which I guess is good. Um, but I'm getting hungry, so I think I'm gonna quit for the, you know, I'm tired of laying on this sloppy floor. I didn't take much video because there's nothing exciting about putting a transmission in. Except for the dumb stuff like pinching my spark plug wire or gouging my finger. But would you ring the bell, mister? And as we all know, that means we're done for the day. Mm -hmm. So I'm hungry. The wife tells me that there's a steak or two to grill. And uh, I'm down with that. Steak sounds good. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and uh, make sure you thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you suits you. And go to MrHeavyChevy.com. Possibly the link is there or there or there or there. But it'll be obvious. Click on that, and it'll take you to the wonderful world of Mr. Heavy Chevy, where you can buy maybe some of that metal art I showed you a little bit earlier today. You can buy t-shirts. You can buy little shorts for your girlfriend. And you can buy hoodies to keep yourself warm, whatever the case may be. Or you can just say hello and tell me how dumb I am. But those people will be in the minority, I think.